This is a double cut. Mostly by feel. It's just grabbing on the edge. hairy knees anyway, right? All you need is a fine mill file. That's what I've come down to. And it never hurts to do a test fit, but I'm pretty sure I'm well. Yeah, I'm still quite a bit oversized. Very coarse round. to go on there now. So you have to be careful because the thing is razor sharp. I did get a gap. Huh, that's... Well, trying to work on camera, right? Ooh, well, we'll see how that guy goes. I'm going to need to strike the butt into this handle and that crisp corner really increases the chances of uh, breaking a piece, splitting a piece of this off. So I need to chamfer those corners. I just press that on enough that it'll hold just by... So I click to turn it each time. Helps it go on straight, and it's not as bad as I was thinking. This is my very simple jig for getting handles back out of axe heads when you have to do repeated test fits. Just use a hammer and a punch. Okay, and I'm going to focus where I see this little shelf forming. And I'm not going to touch up here because I know that part fit into the axe head. So I'm just going to try to blend that to flush. So again, any area that, that fit in the axe head easily, I want to leave alone. But any area where I could see that it was clearly about to be binding up, I try to take that down a little extra. So, 
So we need to make sure that our that the bit's going on and it's not cocked down or back. And then I what I didn't do was check to be sure that it's going on fairly straight this way. And so what I've got going on here, it's canted ever so slightly this direction so that the bottom of the bit there is a little a little to my right. It's a little too far toward this side. So what I do is, uh, there's a pencil. I make a mark that I need to, <clears throat> so I, I want, as the as it goes on, I want it to correct itself and uh, I'll exaggerate, but it's if it's like this, I want it to go on and straighten itself as it goes down. So I'm gonna take a little more material off this side than this side with each successive test fit that I do until I see it corrected. There's no guarantee that it's going to go smoothly. And sometimes it is, you just can't figure out what you're doing wrong, it seems like. apex of the bit there and look for alignment. It's very hard to see on camera. Yeah, my uh, punch is splitting. See that? That's what I didn't want to have happen to the butt end of my handle. That's why I And again, I want to I want to blend this surface smoothly and gradually into the thicker portion of the handle there. And the abrupt shoulder is is usually asking the head to come loose because effectively, if if the head is seated on a shoulder, then it's only wedged from the top. If it's driven onto a effectively a gentle wedge from the bottom and the top it's wedged from both ends and that's fine something I do to test make sure the head's on good Make sure there's no movement. Mm. 
and I'll do that 20 or 30 smacks harder than you should really ever hit anything with the pole piece of Osage orange here watch out back up Very dry, seasoned piece of Osage. <clears throat> One of the hardest woods that grows in North America. Remember this was just sharpened with a file. Each of those is a single bite.